Okay, started another one, so just uh, take it through to where we've got to. It's a 25 minute zero second increment. So we captured, brought the queen back, pushed on, captured here. Attacked, trying to keep it simple, and yeah, blocking off the knight, attacking the bishop. And that's where we're currently at. So I'm actually going to capture the bishop here, trying to own the file on the D. I expect him to take, but maybe he's not going to. Maybe he's going to think he's going to bring his knight out here so he can double up. But we'll just take the rook. Yeah, so he's done that. So we'll capture the rook here. Because the principles are trying to sort of own the file as best possible. Knight can't go there, but can go here, attacking his knight. And he does capture. So we could capture with the pawn or the bishop. Let's capture with the bishop. This pawn can drop, but it can get taken. So it's attacking this pawn here. So this pawn will drop to protect. Bring the rook across, attacking this pawn. Pawn pushes down. Hmm, that might not be good. So, yes, uh, let's uh, rethink that one. Let's get a little bit of a protector first before we bring the rook to attack it. It's attacking our bishop anyway, so we'll bring it here. It's bringing the rook here to protect actually, isn't it? Yeah. He saw that quick, didn't he? Well, it's not moved fast. No, maybe he didn't see that then. Maybe he's got something else, maybe he's thinking of something else, maybe knight attacking the bishop or something. Yeah, because then if the bishop moves, yeah, knight attacking the bishop. If the bishop moves, then his rook comes down here attacking the b-pawn here. Yeah, so if we take the pawn with the rook, he takes the bishop. We come up with a check on the rook king. No, we capture the knight first, his rook takes, we go up with a check on his king. His king moves down to attack, we capture this pawn here, his rook comes down to come and capture these pawns, we capture the other pawn, he captures those pawns. We've got a pawn that is highly de developed up here. Hmm. I like my bishop though. I'm not really a bishop fan, but I'm, I'm getting used to the idea of having them around. You know, I think I might leave that pawn. If I bring my bishop back, back here, protecting this square. Oh, I might rule the day, might I? Oh, it's one of those. Okay, just think, think, think. Pawn grabbing, knight. Pawn takes, rook takes the pawn. It's also on this pawn as well. Rook up with a check on the king. King comes down to attack the rook. Or goes back to protect his pawns. I think he'd come down and attack my rook though, wouldn't he? Hmm. Okay, play it through right to the right to the end, as far as I can go. Rook takes. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Rook takes. Rook check. Maybe the rook comes back. If the rook comes back. Do we take? His king takes. Oh, there's so many options there, isn't there? I'm going to take. I don't think we're in that bad a shape if it all hands like that. It does catch him. And it's at this point here, what do they actually do? He brings the rook back. Okay. So it's even Stevens at the moment. 
Rook takes, king takes. Is this king faster than mine somehow? I get the because he's on that rank, isn't he? So he's closer to the front. Mm, so if I bring my rook back, protecting the pawns here, that gives us a bit of time to bring our king up. Rook takes, king takes, king up, king down, king up, king down. Yeah, so he's going to be winning the center, isn't he? King across. Let's do it. King up. King down. He wants to get to d4 while well, he's coming across that way. What did I say? d4. Let's go here. Now, one of us should have done that circular thing with the kings. There's a, a, a technique to doing it. Because he's further advanced up the board, he's, he's winning as far as I'm concerned. That was what I was um, a little bit bothered about taking the rook, but I thought it might, might at least be able to scrabble something. But yeah, he's, he's a tempo win ahead. So after all said and done, when all these get locked down, these pawns here and these pawns, then he's going to win out in tempo because my king's going to have to move to one side or the other and his king can slide down one or the other sides. So yeah, we're, we're going to lose out. So it's one at a time. Hey. It's one there. If only this pawn was further back, then at least it would stop his king from coming down here. But it's inevitable. Yeah. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. That one beat ahead. Right, yeah. Once it's all locked down, I haven't got a prayer. Although I can move to here, yeah, have a look on the positive side. I can move here, move back because this pawn is blocking. Unless, of course, he fashions a technique of getting rid of this pawn with these pawns. And I think, yes, he's looking at doing that now. So I'm going to have to do this one first. He's looking at getting rid of that somehow, but if he goes... Um, if he takes, then I'm going to, I'll just take, and then this pawn is still here protecting that area. So then I can go backwards and forwards. But, how can he do it? Let's see. Pawn comes down. He just waits. I go to the side. Maybe he's, he starts moving his king over there. If he starts moving his king over there, we can move our king up a little bit, can't we? So side, side, so he's come down, I don't want to lose out on the tempo, so if he goes down, we don't take, we just leave. So I'll go here, this pawn's doing a grand job. So he's got two more moves, basic one here, yeah, might go here. How is he cracking this? I I, the only thing I can think is he pushes here and I take, but I'm not going to take because I'm going to leave that pawn there. So then if he pushes down, this pawn is protecting this square. I've got to keep convincing myself of this because I've played in over the board matches and I, before where I've gone, yes, this is what I'm going to do. And then my fingers actually make a totally different move altogether. So he's locked it down now. So we, yeah, we just go backwards and forwards now. He's got that one move to make up here. And oh, he's bringing his king into the game. Oh, I didn't see any of this stuff going on, did I? Let's go here. I did say his king could work its way around there somehow, but that's only if I take and I'm not going to take. 
I convince myself I'm not taking because I don't need to. He's trying to find a way in. The only way in would be to push this pawn down. We get a break here. Our pawn's faster. If he pushes down here, we're not taking. We leave it. And if he does take, we take, and the pawn's still doing that job. Convinced. Ah, so we've got a lovely draw. Higher rated than ourselves as well. I think we may have done an error somewhere in, during this game. So I just want to have a look at the analysis on that. Unless, of course, he's got some magic to his fingers. If he goes back with his king, our king can go up. Yeah, so if he goes back here, our king can go up here. He's gone to the side, so he's, he's, he's not going anywhere. But we can go here. Yeah, which puts a bigger threat on his side than ours. So let's go here. I don't know why they did that. Because we're not taking this pawn. Yeah. So we can move up to here. Could go to, a, to there to attack the pawn, but he's just going to drop his pawn down. And I don't think we're fast enough. Let's do a count. Yeah, I don't think we're fast enough to go up and get those pawns. Um, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> nine moves. Yeah, so if, if, that, if that's when we went there, so he goes there, and if he changes his mind, I think he's probably looking to take, isn't he? So, one, I take, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it would actually take him ten moves. Let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we said it'll take us nine moves. One, two, it depends though, does he does he push the pawn down at all? Uh, one. Let's do it in order. If I go one, <laughs> I'm getting scared now. I'm feeling like there's a potential win. One. He captures, I capture. Then he moves. I would then capture. Then he moves. I would then go here. Then he comes down. I would capture. Then he captures. Then I push. Then he moves. Then I push again. And then he pushes. And I push again. I think I'm one move. One move ahead, even still. So we'll go with that. He's going for it. Maybe he's done his count better than me. Let's go. Yeah, one move, one move ahead for the queen, and then to actually get the queen off the board.
So if we do a count, his king moves to the side. I think he might be fast enough to get the back pawn, but not fast enough to get that pawn. His king moves to the side. Queen takes... Oh, he doesn't move to that side. So he's moved far away, so now he's not fast enough to get any of these pawns. Boom! <gasps> that is marvellous. Now that's the kind of game I need for my um, league match. Brilliant. Oh, analysis. I, I thought I did something um, wrong early on. Let me have a quick look. Okay, so Queen's up. So attacks with capture. Okay, it felt okay, but there was. I think it's after all of this stuff. Knight come through, yeah, fell okay. I think it's the exchange bit. So we capture, captures, and the capture. Okay, so that was okay. And then this capture here. Oh yeah, it was the, the decision time, wasn't it, between the bishop and the and the rook type thing. And the pawn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It softened there, didn't it? Right, okay. So we had an idea, we went for it. So white's got the slight edge, yeah. Only the slightest of edges, even in that exchange there, but it's big enough. And the reason being is because his king's further down the board, just by that one file, one rank, sorry, yeah. Yes, we could have gone for a drawn, yeah, sort of drawn position thing now. This is, uh, ooh, ooh, well, what's that all about? It's saying that that would have lost. H4. How's H4 winning? Well, they do play H4. Wow, it's showing why is winning here. I didn't see it. I, I didn't see it. Because even if he pushed like A5, A5 he's talking about, yeah. If he pushed A5, I'm not taking A5, so I don't understand why that's a win. Let me just take, let them take me through what, what they mean. Right, yeah, so a5 and uh, was the king going to be coming here to go down here? But then if we go across there, then his king comes down the side there. Oh, maybe that's how they win. Because if we go here, oh uh, yeah. Well, I said they're, they're saying take, we take. And king c4. Oh, that's how they could have won. Interesting. Well, I've got to be mindful of that little trick, haven't I? Right, yeah. So from there, then they went there, then I went across. Ah, so I should have gone here. H4, blocking off any movement down with the pawn here. Uh, okay, alright. So when it's coming to a close down position like this, try and get a pawn, not in this horseshoe shape thing, just push one past. That's good to know. That's good to know. Nice one. I thought I had everything sewn up with pawn ending type things, really. Understanding the principles. Well, yeah, that's a nice one. It just goes to show, it's, there's always something to learn within chess. 
because uh, I thought we were nicely in a drawn position here but it's showing that that side was uh, definitely a winner for, well, for white if they played it right and then king c4 and then obviously I can start doing my stuff here um, b5 with a check that locks that down I'm happy now so I can start doing my stuff backwards and forwards right it ensure that it's properly locked down before you do anything else and avoid the horseshoe thing good to know 